Graham, this is the first time this Chiron machine has been uh, seen in the UK. What's the model? Yeah, the model is a Chiron FZ12 FX Flex L Uno, to give it its correct title. Yeah. Now, we've seen it for the first time in the UK, but how, how new is the machine? Yeah, the machine has roughly been around for five months. Uh, it's a redesign of the previous FZ12, um, and it's been redesigned to be a much more dynamic, faster machine. So how fast is it? Roughly around about 40% faster than the previous models. We're now up to 75 metres in all axis with 2G acceleration. So pretty quick then. Now, what about the actual machine itself? What, it's a five axis, three axis, traveling column? Well, Chiron on all their uh, five axis machines are all full five axis and all axis. Chiron actually developed and made their own A and C axis for this machine as well, which are all torque motors. So we have the ability to run the C axis up to 1000 RPM. And with that option, we can actually do an overturning function on here as well. So we're talking about a full five axis machine with the inclusion here of the automation. Tell me about that. Yeah, Chiron have worked for, for many years on their automation systems as part of their turnkey program. And they've now integrated what they call their Flex Aluno system, which is a FANUC robot with a self-loading system for getting the highest amount of productivity from the machine itself. Uh, with a stacker system through trays, we can load all of the uh, components in, let it run overnight, operator comes in, removes the trays, puts the extra billets in, and away we go. A pretty selective audience or a pretty selective market where would it fit? Well, predominantly Chiron have sort of cut their teeth in the sort of medical, automotive, but we're, we're pleased to see with this new level of automation, we've now got aerospace customers coming to us and actually purchasing this level of equipment as well, um, which is a new thing for us in the UK. And Chiron are now up to roughly around about 50% of their machines are now fully automated. Okay, pretty impressive. Now, the turn inside, is that something that you're going to see a, a big demand for as well with this machine? Yeah, I think where we're looking for this machine, on a very sort of complex, uh, high value type component, uh, we're obviously clamping and uh, having to split the ops becomes a bit of a problem. Um, this machine, we're looking to try and give that into a one hip machine totally now. So whereas before it might have had to come off to be turned, you can now do everything in, in one hip? I mean, Chiron have never made laser turning machines, but it's, it's amazing their ability now to their, run into their MT program is becoming very, very big. What about the tooling, finally, on this, Graham? Yeah, normally the standard machine HSK 63, but we've got the 18,000 spindle on here as well. And to be able to get the extra tool capacity that they've designed into the machine, we can now get 128 tools with the HSK 50 taper. OK, summarise it for me. Five, ten words. Yeah, Chiron, medium to high volume, high value product, where you want to make the best margin, best cost per part, and that's where we sit. Many machines, Graham, but this concept is new on me. Can you give me a little bit of an idea about well, what it is? Yeah, I mean, here we have the uh, the Starmer MC538, and Starmer being part of the Chiron Group. Um, both companies work very, very heavily into twin spindle, four spindle technology, uh, where we can get the highest level of output from one machine, um, and then reducing tack time within the parts. So essentially, we've got two spindles here, but you you could have four. Yeah, absolutely. Within Chiron and Starmer, we both offer their uh, four spindle versions as well. Here we have the new heavy-duty HSK100 uh, spindle here, now at a spindle distance of 600 centres, so we have the ability to handle much bigger parts than we've been able to do previously. And on this machine here, we're showing it with a 1300 bridge, the four-clamping position uh, hydraulic fixture. So I'd be right in saying you, you're actually duplicating what you're doing in one spindle to the other, are you? They're not independent. No, they're not independent. Effectively here where we've got is, a, is copy milling. So effectively once the, uh, the machine is set up, we're just looking at getting the level of productivity through there. They're not independent, but effectively everybody who knows how to set up the tooling on a twin spindle will get very, very high levels of productivity. And is it as simple as saying somebody would buy one of these just because they want to double their output? Yeah, I think we're seeing in the in the UK, we're having, going through a, a period of automotive is doing extremely well. So a lot of the type of customers we're dealing with, uh, the volumes are increasing. We've got nice ability now to, to look at uh, Airbus programs, which are increasing massively as well. So between the two sectors, twin spindle technology, we are getting more requests to look at that. And what about your tool changer on this machine? And I know you mentioned briefly the working envelope, but what size of parts can you go up to? 
Yeah, well, I mean, here it depends. Uh, where we have a four part load, so we have a 1300 bridge, so that then separates that into 640. But obviously, we have to take into account the spindle distance of 600, so normally we just calculate the best fit, the best clamping arrangements. And then the tooling finally? The tooling HSK100. Great thing about this machine, very, very heavy duty, can do some very, very hard machining on here with a 400 newton meter spindle. And the amount of tool pockets? The standard machine is 2 times 20 or 2 times 32, but we can expand this out with background magazines up to 200 tools. Fair to say, something different? Absolutely, and it's nice to see us having a Starmer here at the show. Steve was stood in front of a halter automation cell. Can you talk me through it? So basically, the, uh, the idea of this unit is a standard unit. Um, so obviously we get we get a lot of projects on for automation um, and generally when we're looking at a bespoke unit it's obviously that is dependent for the customer. This unit is designed for flexibility so we can obviously take it from one machine, we can transfer it to another machine quite quite easily. How long will that take? Roughly speaking between 20 and 30 minutes so part of our installation is we teach it into the machine tool, everything on the robot side is all pre-programmed there's a touch screen on the control panel that takes you through all the conversational size, uh, billet size, component size and everything else. OK, and how easy is the robot to program? There's no robot experience required. So on the control panel there's a conversational screen and basically there's, there's eight screens that you go through, saying number of parts that I've got, range of sizes and the robot will take care of everything else. Can you do it? Yes. <laughs> Quite easily. <laughs> So here it is on a turning centre, yep. can it go on a VMC? Yeah, certainly, I mean obviously it, it, it fits up all our product range, um, but it can also be retrofitted onto our competitive machine as well, so yeah, any, any, any machine tool. Martin, thank you very much for the invitation to your stand, it's Wednesday, Mac 2016, tell me a little bit more about the strategy of what you've got on your stand here. Uh, well, what we've tried to focus on this time, Mark, is um, basically added value. So, as you can see from the machines, we've got lots of automation. Uh, as I say, we're talking about the added value, managing the expectations of our customers, right through from, we call it, cradle to grave. So, we've got ETG Finance, with the machine selection, we've got the technical expertise here to select the correct machine for the job. We're also looking at the the production element of it thereafter once the machine goes into the production environment, so machine monitoring software as well. Now obviously you've got a customer's needs, okay. Mm -hmm. One thing that you're providing is obviously turnkey to a certain extent, but a one-stop shop? Oh, we certainly are. That's, that's, that's what ETG is known for, the, uh, the, the turnkey element for sure. And uh, what with the brands, so the Hardinge, the Chiron, the Nakamuras, the Quasars and, and the Starmers and the Hantmans, and we basically got all the bases covered. So uh, yeah, a one-stop shop, but it's not just about the machines, as I say, it's all about the, the, the peripheral equipment that goes with the machines. One thing I know about your marketing yeah. is you've got something different here. You're giving a machine away. Why are you doing that? Uh, well, you've just said it. It's something different. You know, we're, we like to do things different, a bit quirky. I've never seen a machine given away at a Mac show before. In fact, I've never seen a machine given away at any show before. So uh, why not? <laughs>